Hello, and welcome back to Mythic Ocean. After last time, my everything apparently corrupted. I don't know how that happened. I would guess it's some blue screen shenanigans or something. I, I can't remember if I maybe blue screened right at the end of the last episode. But anyway, for some reason, my initial save file was like corrupted. It was just saying start new game, like it was entirely wiped. And the log file just said like null, 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 null at the bottom. And all of my configuration settings were completely reset too. So that was fun. Basically, I had to replay the last episode. But, you know, when you're not talking and reading things, it goes pretty fast. So here we are again. I'm, I'm back and I've done my homework. I've done, uh, I've went around collecting all the pages and I've set up a save file. I don't know why I'm in this one. I should be in the other one, because we're going to do the test with Catcher Nesty's crystal business. But I just started here. And on the first episode of using this logging thing, I had a comment saying, it's sad that you can't see the logging thing. And yeah, I intended to not show it. I, I figured I would just read it out anyway. So I didn't think it was worth putting in the videos at all. And Oh, the hassle of, like, how would I do that? Like, record it separately or take a bunch of screen caps afterwards and then edit them in in the video in a meaningful manner and stuff. I don't know. It just, it sounded like too much work for something that I'm just, like, looking over and reading out anyway. But then I did this. Oh, God, I can't do that. Hold on. There you go. I did that. And the question is, is this good or not? The question is, is this worth having? So this is just a little test. I really haven't like tested. I should have recorded a bit using this and then uploaded it to YouTube just to check because I'm pretty sure you can't read this fucking shit at all unless you're in like full screen on a PC monitor. Fuck you if you're on mobile, I guess. And if you watch in the like small player or something, I don't know. It's just a bit of a, a trial thing and this is the perfect opportunity, I wanted to get your opinion on it. Is this something you think should be here? And if so, should it be like bigger, bigger font? Should it show more of the logs? There's definitely going to be some lines that are just like cut off because I just crop it after a certain point. But I think most of the like receptivity and track changes and the new values should be included. But I haven't tested it much, so I'm sure something will go wrong and something won't show up that should and whatever. But it's just kind of a fun little little thing. So even though I can look over and just see the file itself, you can also maybe, possibly, if you can discern the small text, look at what's happening and the, the logging and how the log file looks and stuff. And I, yeah, just figured it might be kind of fun, though it won't see much use because this episode, after we do the Catcher Nesty thing, I'm at least gonna do like one ending. I'm looking at the time right now and it's already like I'm talking, talking, talking and wasting time. So we probably won't have time to do two endings, I wouldn't imagine, but maybe we'll we'll have to see. But then during the endings, there's obviously no reason to have the logging thing on, so I'll disable it for that. And then this would only be in use during the asshole run and any runs past that. And I'm realizing I thought the asshole run would just be the last run, but I'm looking at the, uh, oh yeah, I guess here it's kind of clashing a little bit. I was mousing over the OBS and not here, but yeah, I, I guess that's a thing, but it's not like that really matters, I suppose. So yeah, just let me know. But the illustrations, I, I'm missing five illustrations, and these seem to be in like a chronological order, and most of the ones I'm missing, I'm pretty sure are just here. These are just... This is Amar doing well with Alethia, and then here's Ketranesti doing well with Alethia, and then here's Ketranesti doing poorly with Alethia. So this is just Amar doing poorly, and I've tried that, but I never had that in a save file, I imagine. So that's two of them, and then these three apparently are all just in the uh, Amar and Ketranesti playing slash cheating slash storytelling slash whatever. Like, there's so many illustrations here from like, where is it? Yeah, from here, I guess? All the way to like here is all that one fable of just Amar and Ketranesti. So 
I don't know how to get them and which ones I'm missing, like different having Amar go there or having Ketchernesti come here and then different outcomes. So I, I might have to just do another playthrough after Asshole Run, where I just like hardcore get these illustrations just so I get a save that's like 100%ed. But I very much doubt I'm gonna bother doing every variation of every ending or anything like that. So that might be the last thing we do. But anyway, enough talking. So as I said, we'll leave up the, uh, the logging thing. Wrong menu. We'll leave up, no wait, right menu. We'll leave up logging, the logging thing for right now, just so you can get a taste for it, how it would look during normal gameplay and stuff. And just let me know what you think of it. If any, if it should be there at all, or if it should change in any way. So here we have a save file where I have not, uh, I have the crystal, but we haven't fixed it. And I want to not fix the crystal and then talk to Ketcher Nesty and then teleport back to them and then say that, uh, see if they like still look into the portal. And I'm like, do you want to tell me what that portal's for? Which wouldn't make any sense. So this is just a tiny little thing. And yeah, you can see right now. So if I say like, uh, if I stop skipping and do this, there you go. Now you should be able to see. Yeah, exactly. I'm just having to look over because it's so fucking small for me too. But yeah, one power to God. Hold on, I need to get my own log like, uh, as the highest one, whatever, in focus. But yeah, one power to Astronomer and one track to Obsession. And you can see, yeah, you can see all of it, even all the all the way to new value three is like the last point. After that, it cuts off, but there's nothing more to see. So that's, that's good. I'm just worried that if I make the font bigger and everything bigger, it'll just take up like 80% of the width of the screen, which might be a little too distracting. But yeah, here we go. There, the crystal is back. It's for the best. Thanks, Alethia. Sorry to waste your time on this. I wouldn't call it a waste. We learned valuable things we wouldn't have known otherwise. Good luck talking to them, my friend. And can we talk to you again? And I guess we get to hear what Elil's thoughts are on this uh, breaking the crystal thing, not repairing it. He's probably not going to be very happy about that, but he'll be like, yep, yeah, whatever you want to do, I guess. Nothing matters. Thank you both. Ketri Esti, I'm sorry, but Alethia said the crystal couldn't be fixed. Huh? It's gonna be like a negative thing. W what do you mean? No way, that can't be... Oh, I get it, it's a joke. You're joking, right? Come on, new friend, don't scare us like that. No, it's not a joke. The crystal can't be fixed, I'm so sorry. Crystal given. That's impossible. It always worked before. There has to be a way, new friend. Take it back to Alethia. Tell her we need the crystal. Alethia knows how important the crystal is to you. She did everything she could. She's sorry, too. Find someone else. Can't you take it to someone else? I don't think so. If Alethia can't fix it, I don't know anyone else who could. This is crazy. What are we gonna do? You two seem very affected by this. Was the crystal really just a way of looking at old pictures? It'll be okay. You still have the memories of your old home, even if you don't have the pictures anymore. They probably won't like that. I know there isn't much to say, but I know this is painful for both of you, and I'm truly sorry. I kinda- I guess I wanna test all of these, and yeah, we'll see the whole logging thing and see what changes they all do, so... Was it really just a way of looking at the old- Oh my god! Okay. Uh, what was that? Minus two receptivity. They really fucking hated that. Okay. All right. Even though we were like practically best friends too. I think we need some time alone. Sorry, Ketri. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And then we go back. Oh God, no, I'm okay. Whatever. I'll have to just like load the save because it auto save now. That's fine. I just want to like fully check this and then talk to Elil as well and then we'll just have to load the uh, the save again and do it from from Alethia would you two mind telling me more about the crystal uh okay why do you want to talk about it I'd like you to tell me what the crystal was for 
Alethia told me it was some kind of communicator, so I know it wasn't just showing you old pictures. Uh, Ketri, should we? It's fine. So they're still happy enough to tell me. I'm assuming if they did not have any receptivity, they would definitely not tell me about this. And this is all the same, I guess. Uh, oh. We wanted to fix so bad. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for letting me know the truth. So, at this point, and yeah, when you, when we have the logging thing up as well, it's probably really hard to see the, uh, the log, but oh well, that's not like all the time, I suppose. Um, at this point, I can try doing the opposite. So, last time, I did get plus two compassion, plus two power when we had them give up the crystal. Wait, now there won't even be a choice. Never mind. Yeah, we'll just have to see what happens now. I mean, wait, I still don't know what we're gonna do without it. I mean, I wish our parents had just... Never mind. Does the crystal have something to do with why you left the palace? Kind of a lot to explain about that. Yeah. Okay, this is the same. Thanks for listening, and that's it. And that's one receptivity. Of course. I hoped... I, I hope maybe it helped you both to talk about it somehow. Maybe a little. Let's talk about something else now. And yeah, no power and no track changes whatsoever, because this is clearly, like, not really a good thing to do for them. Just destroying the crystal, you want to convince them to either keep it or give it up is, like, the main thing for getting them, like, in the polarity and, or track that you want and stuff. So yeah, you can't talk about Alethia, no. Alright, so that's that. Now let's get a lecture from uh, Elil about not interfering too much. You're asking me? Well, you and Alethia decided to leave the crystal broken and tell the twins it couldn't be fixed, right? I probably would not have done that. You might remember I'm not a fan of limiting what folks can do. The twins showed up here with the crystal, it's theirs, let them do what they want with it. And you think that's a good idea, even if the crystal is causing the twins some kind of harm? Yeah, I do. If I make a really important choice like that for the twins without them knowing about it, suddenly I'm the one deciding their destiny instead of them. Even if you're trying to teach them a lesson or whatever, they're probably not going to learn anything that way. Yep, that's, that's sort of why I didn't want to destroy it. True, maybe I should have gone about it differently. Yeah, let's, let's say that. Live and learn, buddy! I've been watching this stuff play out for eons, and I still find things to learn here and there. And yeah, I don't need to talk about that. That is pointless. So yeah, there we go. Now we go back to the main menu. I'm definitely only... I, I will only have time for one ending today, so I guess we'll just do the, like, default ending and see what we get in the save file, just naturally. But let's do this again. And then say... Uh, I had no idea. But then say, I don't want to lie to them. True, I wouldn't want to miss that chance. Let's not fix it. It's a tough decision, but that... Oh, I forgot to do the thing. That was the whole point. Yeah, I mean, I did want to test more things anyway, so I guess this is fine. Yeah. All right, it's a tough decision, but that's what I'm leaning towards as well. Because, yeah, the whole point was seeing the, like, portal thing which we just got them sitting up by the uh, the turtle, so I guess it just can't happen, even though it should have happened long before this cutscene, where you, you're like, can you tell me what the portal is for? So, and that's when they say, like, oh, it's, we're just looking at our old home, and at this point in the save file, I basically don't know that, so it, it's all just a little, just mixed around in a weird way. So yeah, let's go back here. Yeah, you can see the perfect, like, date and time and what we're doing. We're opening Level Coral Reef. Amazing. Alright, can't be done. It's not a joke. Okay, and then it'll be okay. You still have the memories of your old home, even if you don't have the pictures anymore, right? I knew it. I knew it. And what is that? Oh, what? That's nothing? What do you mean, that's nothing? What? No, you don't get it. I I think we need some time alone. Stop. What? What? There's... Okay, either there's just 
a lot of bugs here where these don't give receptivity changes or track changes, or it's just like the log doesn't show the accurate thing that is happening. Because maybe that did actually give them power or change their track and reduce their receptivity. Like that would make sense, but it just doesn't say that it did anything. And now you can see that too. That doesn't add up. It's like that looked really bad, but it actually did nothing. Very strange. But anyway, let's let's load the checkpoint and talk to them again and just try the other other thing. I'm guessing like all of them will be bad, basically. Maybe maybe this one won't be bad. They'll probably just be like sad, but not actually like negative receptivity. I know there isn't much I can say, but I know this is painful for both of you, and I'm truly sorry. Yeah, okay. That didn't do anything either! What the hell? It's just fancy effects with no no cost to them, no actual consequences. Yeah, thanks. I think we need some time alone. Man, that is weird! Okay, and then we teleport to Ketcher and Esty. And they'll probably be up by the turtles, I would imagine. Yeah, they're up at the turtles. And then we talk to them, and then get out again, and then teleport to them again, and see if they're looking in the portal. But I, I guess they thought of it. And I guess that can't happen after this whole thing. Uh, do I want to do that? Let's just say I, I'm going to go now and then teleport back to them yet again. Yeah, and they're just here. I guess we could try talking to them all the way. Uh, I guess I'll do that. I'm just going to cut. All right. Finally, we teleport back to them. And they're probably just going to be right here. They're just right here. Alright, so now we confirm that even if you don't uh, fix the crystal, they can't have the cutscene here where they're looking in the portal. But if you do fix the crystal, they can do that even though it doesn't really make any sense that they would be looking in the portal. I mean, that part makes sense, but then you come up and you're like, can you tell me what the portal is for? Because we've already talked about it, we've already done that, you know? Or at least to some extent, like Alethia told us that they were looking in, but I guess it's not completely wrong. It's just like you as the the protagonist, whatever, the player, have that information, but you're still like asking the twins to explain themselves or something. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird thing, but there we go. And holy crap, I don't even feel like I'll have time for one ending, but let's make an effort to do so. We'll see if I have anything I can cut out at this uh, in this episode. Because, yeah, that would be a big waste to not do anything. So, here we go. Ah, so you've been to the library, eh? I can sense the pages you found there. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Go on. Oh. I wonder what happens if you just, like, give Gnosis all the pages. Ah, oh, fuck. If you never talk to Elil and you just get four pages... Th this is something I can't really do. I might do that during asshole run that might be possible yeah maybe where i get four pages give them to gnosis for the breach get all of them and then before i even like talk to elil because i'm gonna be an asshole to elil and not talk to elil i i think then i just give them all to gnosis and then talk to elil when i don't have any pages anymore i don't know maybe i'll remember to do that or maybe it will be too annoying to try and do that i understand bye All right, place your bets. I don't remember all the uh, power we've seen. I'm assuming it's like Lutra, probably, I would say. I think it's Lutra, but it's going to be good Lutra, most likely. It's not Ketcher Nesty. Well, whatever the new world's like, we want to help make it even better. We want people to get along and take good care of each other, so we'll try and show them how. I told them I was glad they'd set such, such a goal for themselves and wish them well. Thanks, new friend. See you around. What's going on? 
Huh, well, whoever gets to do, to do that, I hope they think about everyone when they decide how it's gonna be. Anyway, are we gonna get to hang out? Yeah, I knew it, it's Lutra. Alethia appeared. You can open portals too. What's happening? My word! Everything would have I don't I don't think I would have believed you. Yeah, we've seen that before. No sign of Gnosis. And only Lutra remained. Let's see, is Lutra still just regular moth guy? Oh, well it's a different kind of moth. It's a blue moth. Or I don't know. Yeah, it is moth moth like. Huge and majestic moth like creature. But yeah, different coloring. This one feels new. Memories of this one, not clear. But this one remembers words. This one must save for future and save for others. Also, this one feel. Oh, right. You still have the, this thing. Yeah, this, this isn't even like being added to the log. So I'm just gonna disable this for now. I'll keep an eye on it to see if anything happens in the log. I don't think it does. So there's no point having that on there and ruining the ending. Pulse of the world fading. I nodded and explained that soon a new world would take this one's place. Lutra seemed lost in thought for a time. Then it tilted its head to its side, eyes shimmering brightly as though some spark of recognition had occurred. This one understands. One thing ends, other begins. This one must choose what begins. Yeah, thankfulness. This one is reminded of one who was familiar. This one hopes to find familiar one again someday. Oh no! Oh, that's sad. Lutra doesn't remember like anything. What? This is not a good ending. Ah! Before I could respond, it took flight and was gone. I resolved to remind Lutra who I was if I could and help it recall the time we shared together in the in the ocean. Wow, that's that's so bittersweet. My head was swimming with possibilities. Oh man, this is gonna take a while, I think. Wait! Oh, the its thoughts of hunger had not diminished, but it remembered what it learned from the familiar one. It tried with all its might to shift its focus away from eating everything. It thought instead about making sure others of its kind would always have food for tomorrow. Then it brought the new world forth from nothingness. Okay, it's the same, like, CG here, or like, background piece. Lush vegetation... Greeted them excitedly. They ate liberally, but Lutra intervened before everything was devoured. These ones must leave some plants. Some plants, they are not infinite. Other ones need them also. Recalling how Alethia had used her devices, Lutra spoke of how the moths might build things that would make their lives easier. What? Together, they developed technology. What? That allowed them to grow far more plants and feed themselves and their young, sustain young sustainably. Then they left for other planets to see how they were faring. Oh, to see how they were faring, like the, the other planets. The moth-like creatures became stewards of nature in the universe, punishing civilizations that abused and exploited their planet's ecosystems. They offered to help struggling mortals develop advanced eco-friendly technology. Go green. As long as they accepted, they would find the moths patient and supportive. If they didn't, they would face Lutra's wrath and the result would not be pleasant. Ah, these beautiful seas and jungles are the best! They remind me of the kelp forest! Amar found themselves in agreement with Lutra's calls to keep the environment safe. They offered to assist the moths by developing laws to ensure nature's longevity. Lutra, we want to help you show the mortals how to be kind to each other! Ketra and Esti were inspired by the moths' respect for all life. They assisted Lutra in maintaining the peace, developing laws, and kept wars and violence to a minimum. I'm truly impressed, Lutra. You found a way to ensure the mortals treat nature with all the reverence it deserves. Alethia appreciated Lutra's willingness to establish order and defend the environment. She became the moth's lead researcher and helped them develop technology to cultivate the flora and fauna of the universe. As for Gnosis... He's just chilling out. So it all worked out alright. With the help of the gods, Lutra and the Moths maintained the, their stewardship of civilization. 
They reserved certain planets as giant greenhouses and grew enough types of food to provide sustenance for all the mortals within their alliance. Their con the consequences for exploiting a planet's resources, or threatening the peace of the, the universe in any way, rem remained quite harsh. Fortunately, knowing what the moths were capable of, the mortals rarely challenged their directives. And so the mortals will live in peace with the gods, respecting nature and their insectile protectors, but fearing them a bit as well. Until the cycle begins anew. I wonder if that can be different in any way. I feel like that's probably set in stone, more or less. But there you go! Oh, the, the collective, right, yeah, that's, that's just that. Yeah, everyone loved it. Everyone was uh, in agreement, and Collective is here now, so that's cool. And yeah, next time, I'll continue reading endings. I'll make the gold crown, and then we'll just pass it along to all the other ones, and hopefully I've gotten them all close enough in power that I can get their endings, because that would really suck if, like, Amar or Ketranesti... Well, I guess Ketranesti we've seen, but it was kind of interrupted, so that would be nice to see, like, played out properly. But I don't know if, if any of them can't get enough power. Oh, and interesting, we can have the logging thing up when I make the crown to see what it truly does. Because, yeah, as far as I was told, it was like gold crown is like two power, silver crown is one power, and bronze crown is like nothing. It's just a tiebreaker, pretty much, or something like that. So... That could be interesting to just play around with a little bit before we get into reading more endings. So we'll do that. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Once again, let me know how you think the logging thing works. If it's good, if it's bad, if I should keep it, if I shouldn't. As I said, even if we take it away, I'm still going to be like having my own log file on the side and I'll read out if I see anything interesting happen or whatever. But it's also late in the series, so it probably, even if we do keep it, it's not going to get that much use, really. But let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.